But today we're here, uh, Thunder Bay Police are announcing the launch of their UAS program. It's a unmanned aircraft system, also known as a UAV, unmanned aerial vehicle. So you see the, air, the uh, UAV here behind me. Um, we're going to be using it for a lot of uh, different aspects and we're, we're happy to have it as part of our, our kit now. Uh, some of the things that we will be using it for, uh, first and foremost, is evidence. So we'll be able to take aerial shots of collision scenes as well as uh, any type of outdoor scene that we may have. Um, also, uh, a public safety aspect for this would be for the search of missing people. So previously, obviously it's, uh, it's difficult to search wooded areas or areas that are hard to get to by foot. Um, with this um, UAV, we're able to fly quickly over uh, difficult to reach areas and wooded areas. It's got capabilities with a video camera, um, also with a, with a camera and an infrared camera as well. So we're able to see uh, people that we, we wouldn't have been able to, to find quite as easily before. We're able to find them quite, uh, quite quickly in some circumstances with the use of uh, this unit. Also, also just for uh, checking uh, areas that are, that are difficult to check. So if there's um, a location where we know someone may be or if there's an indication that somebody may, may be in distress somewhere, we're able to quickly get over an area um, with use of the, uh, the UAV system. How far can uh, like on my Well, I mean, there, there was a whole lot of training and, and procedures that go into flying these. Um, this is not something that we could just uh, pick up and fly on, on a whim. So there's uh, contact with the air traffic control tower, um, and there's a whole lot of procedures and legislation that we have to abide by in, in regards to the use of this instrument. So it can fly quite a lot and, and to quite a great distance, but there, there's procedures that we have to keep in mind. So in other words, we have to always be in visual line of sight of the unit. Um, and we also have to set a radius of our, our flight area uh, whenever we do these uh, these different operations. So we have to we have to be careful with that. Uh, I mean, here today we'll be flying up at a at an altitude of approximately 200 feet, and with a radius of about 100 meters around the area. So you'll see what that looks like. And, and 200 feet is actually quite high, and even a radius of 100 meters is, is quite large. It covers the the entire area around the police station here. What made police want to uh, purchase this unit? Well, you know what, it just, it's just another piece of equipment that adds to uh, public safety and to our ability to effectively investigate and, and, and gather evidence in regards to those investigations. So, uh, as I mentioned, uh, the public safety aspect is very important. We're able to, um, you know, have another tool that we're able to look for uh, people in distress or for, for missing people. And then the evidence gathering po component, I mean, as you can imagine, we were able to get a bird's eye view of, of a collision scene or of a, any type of outdoor scene. Um, and that's something we just simply couldn't get before. So this adds a, another layer of what we're able to provide as a police service. Uh, Sergeant, tell us uh, the training behind this, how many officers are trained or what's the training behind it? Uh, so currently there's four constables and myself, one sergeant that uh, is in charge of the, the unit. So uh, with the five of us, um, we'll, we'll be flying, I, I suspect, quite a lot. Uh, there, there's quite a lot of training that goes into it, uh, more, more than you would imagine. So the UAV that we have behind us here is not, not the UAV that you would you know, buy at an electronics store. There's, there's, it's a lot, uh, has a lot more capabilities than something like that. Um, so the, train, the training was, was extensive. It involved um, what's called a, a ground school pilot training um, to learn about uh, flight and all the, and all the uh, different dynamics of flight and, and how, how the UAV operates and what to do in certain, certain circumstances as well. There's also detailed federal legislation uh, that we had to comply with in order to get proper uh, certificates in order to be able to fly uh, the device um, within areas and within built up areas and within proximity to, uh, to, to the public and to other officers. With the unit and all the training, what's the total price tag? You know what, I mean, I can't comment specifically on the total price tag. I don't have a specific number, but obviously with a, uh, with a unit of this caliber, with its capabilities, it's, it's, um, you know, it's, not, it's not a couple hundred dollar unit or, or even a thousand dollar unit for that matter that you would see in the electronics store. It's not, uh, it's not something to that level. It's, it's obviously uh, you know, much more detailed and, and with that and with the quality comes, comes price as well, but I don't have a specific number for you. Are there any plans to add another unit or just the one? Well, as of right now, I mean, we just have the one, um, and with, with the pilots that we have, we're going to see, as, as we've just started with this, we're going to see the usage of it. I, I do suspect we're going to get quite a lot of usage of it, and, um, and I do suspect it's going to make quite a difference. And, you know, even, even just for that one case where, you know, we may be able to, uh, to locate a vulnerable person that's missing in a wooded area, for example, it's, it's worth every penny.